Bonjour and welcome back to Breaking Bread with Lydie Denis. Today I have a special show and I could call it From Russia with Love. Yes, it's an old movie, an old James Bond from 1964 with Sean Connery. Why? No, I don't have James Bond with me, but I have someone very special who could have been a James Bond girl. Her name is Tanya. She has an amazing uh, YouTube channel, Tanya and Wine. And she has the love for wine and the love for food. And she's from Russia, um, mm, Française, bien sûr. And we decided to combine our effort and do a special show for you. Tanya, bonjour. bonjour. Hello, everyone. Hi. So today I'm going to, well, actually, you're going to help me making cookie Saint-Jacques. It's the dish that you, in France, for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. And it's basically um, sea scallops. In France, you actually go to a fish monk and uh, you buy them live. They open it for you. You have one sea scallop. It comes, what I call the heart. It's orange. In America, they take it out and throw it away. Oh, yeah. And it's a shame. But what can we do? So I do have a sea scallop. I do add a little chili shrimp instead of a heart and a little mushroom some onions and we're going to chop everything together and uh, let's cook good and drink and drink and drink of course <laughs> we're going to dice the sea scallop like little cubes oh it's like russian salad <laughs> <laughs> the same size of cubes. In France, they will have only one sea scallop inside the shell. Unfortunately, here you cannot find it. So I got the, uh, the shelves on Amazon because I think it's very, very pretty. But it's real? Oh, it's real, mm -hmm. yes. Now we're going to finally slice the, uh, the onions. Are we going to cry? <laughs> no. <laughs> I put it in the fridge first. Oh. And we're going to cube also some white mushroom. So in France, you would find champignon de Paris. And champignon de Paris, it's a white mushroom, but it's very, very teeny. It's so small, you cannot find it here. My grandma used to say, okay, go pick up some mushrooms. So me and my sister, we were hunting for mushrooms. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we too. You do too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put on your boots. <laughs> Go in the woods. I will add some mini, teeny, teeny, teeny shrimp. This is done. So my mom's parents, my uh, grandma, grandpa, they didn't have a farm. So my <laughs> sister and I, we had to uh, basically go and catch dinner. So it was either getting some frog, <laughs> frog legs. <laughs> I had this big stick and me and my sister were just, you know, frogs were everywhere at the, at the time, just puff on the head and... Uh, <laughs> Here's dinner with snails also, oh. which takes a long time because snails, you have to starve them to death for like 40 days. Mm -hmm. So they have this saliva that's really horrible. So we can take it out and then you wash it again. And it's, <laughs> it's a long process to eat snails. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do? It's not done yet. So you scoop. Just like this. Yes. And then I'm going to teach you how to do a bechamel oh. sauce. We're going to melt the butter first. Oh. So I'm curious to see what you brought to drink. Oh. Okay, it's here. In so time, all sparkling in Russia called champagne, like champagne, champagne. Champagne, champagne, champagne. Yes, but now it's not, not so popular name for Russian sparkling, but some uh, producers still do it and they call it Soviet champagne. And <laughs> I, I found it here. It's Soviet uh, semi-dry wine. You can you can read Soviet Skoye wine. So white semi-dry semi -dry wine. wine. It's Perfect. not from Russia. It's from Moldova. It was uh, uh, in past. It was part of Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. So actually, I, I haven't tried <laughs> before <laughs> this one. I'm not really sure. So I'm not the only guinea pig. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be my first time to you. Yeah, and the worst part, we, we want to compare this one, this real champagne. This yes. So show, show us. For <laughs> us, it's uh, a Veuf Clicquot. Mm -hmm. Soviet and Veuf Clicquot. <laughs> and Veuf Clicquot. Okay, let's go back to the butter. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, so now you're going to... Oh, that's a little bit. Just... Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay. 
Okay, now don't stop smearing. Like yes. Should I do it faster? No, <laughs> no. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. It has to become a little like a um, little dark yellowish. Oh. Almost like burnt. Oh. Almost. Almost. But not, not but yet. Don't not burn. Yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some milk. Milk. A uh, little bit by little bit, and you don't stop stirring. Mm -hmm. You see that kind of like darkish color oh. now? Yeah. Okay, so. Oh. It's going to be exactly, you see? Ooh. So don't stop. Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> okay, a bit more. <laughs> That's about one cup. So it's about three tablespoons of butter uh -huh. and three tablespoons of flour. Equal amount of butter, equal amount of flour, and about one cup okay. of milk. And that's it. And that's it. <laughs> spoon. Uh -huh. And so you don't cook the uh, sea scallop and it's going to cook in the oven with that, uh -huh. with the sauce. Uh -huh. And then you add a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs on top. Is it good? It's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Wow. A little bit of noisette right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to put them in the oven. Oops. For 20 minutes. 200 degree Fahrenheit. All right. What now? Oh, now my part. Your part, yes. yes. Okay, I prepared in advance this salad, this famous Russian salad. It has French name, Olivier, because it was invented by French chef in Moscow. So what do we have here? Potato, yes. carrots, green peas, cucumbers like pickles, mm -hmm. eggs, and the sausage, special Russian sausage, which calls Doktorskaya, like doctor's like sausage. Doctor sausage. Doctor sausage, yes. <laughs> and I think the main ingredient here is mayonnaise. From Russia. From Russia, yes. It's Russian mayonnaise. I wow. found it here in Russian store. It calls Provencal. Like Provencal, like Provence. Like Provence, yes, right. So I have a little surprise today for you. Yes, because mm. I do make my own mayonnaise. Yes, oh. from scratch. My homemade mayonnaise, it's very easy. Uh, basically, it's the egg yolk. I use three egg yolk. Canola oil, uh, some moutarde, mustard, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, and then, yes, I don't do it by hand. I have electric. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> we have to compare the Russian, the Russian mayonnaise with Lily's homemade mayonnaise. So what should we do? We have to uh, put salt in okay. this and mayonnaise. Okay. So, sel. So. Just oh, do it. Me? Oh yes. my God. You. No, I'm working. <laughs> yeah. All right. How much salt? Just a um, little bit. Like, maybe like, like this. Okay. Yes. Put a lot of this. A lot of it. <laughs> because uh, the salad should be creamy. Creamy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Makes sounds. Yes. I think there's nothing left. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, you can try it. <laughs> Ooh, you like it? It's good. Ooh. It's good. Mm. I'm proud for our mayonnaise. <laughs> so, and now you combine and yes. everything together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do, do you want to do it or? You can do it. I can do it, yes. So, and you have a special bowl. Yes, crystal bowl. Why is that? It's used only on celebrations, on big table, you know, for New Year, for birthdays, for all this. So all the yeah. big celebrations. Big celebrations, yes. yes. Did you bring the bowl from Russia with you? No, I, I found it here because here the people has crystal bowls too. So what's next? Next we have uh, the second special dish for New Year, okay. it's uh, dumplings. It's we call them pelmeni, <laughs> Russian pelmeni, dumplings with meat. But first, we're going to go and take a peek at my uh, scallops, sea scallops. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, looking beautiful. And it smells so good. Mm. Oh yes. Mm. 
What do you need to do to help you for the dumplings? Mm, we have to boil them, so we have uh, to boil water, water first. Water first, okay. Mm -hmm. So while the water is boiling, I think we should open something bubbly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have this special thing, little thing. It's real cork, thanks God, because I, I thought it could be plastic. Okay, they're not crystal, but... But they're, but they're right. Pre they're pretty. Yes. They're pretty, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, that's it. Oh, look. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. It has bubbles. <laughs> it's bubbly. Yeah. Yeah. Not too okay. many bubbles. Okay, let's smell it. Okay. Mm. I don't know. It smells funny. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. To my first Russian champagne. <sighs> let's do it. Okay. It's almost like apple juice. Yes. Huh? Almost like a cider. Like a cider, yeah. More like a cider than yes. a champagne. It doesn't taste like grape, you know. No. No. It doesn't taste like alcohol either. No. Mm. Let's but see. It, it How many have... degrees? 6.5. Oh. It's... That's it. Kids champagne. Kids champagne. Kids champagne. Yes. You know, in France, every Sunday when I was a child, like about five years old, you get to have a little bit of red wine on Sunday. They start <laughs> drinking at five. <laughs> five, you know. Yeah. It's good for you. It's good mm. for your health. I can tell this. Oh, water is boiling. Yes. Let's put it's it. Ex it's let's exciting. Put it. Let's okay. put it. So. Oh, you can read something on here. It's... Oh, the other Oops. side? It's Siberian. Oh you know, I'm originally from Siberia. You are? <laughs> yes. So it's from my motherland. And just put it all. All of it? All of it, yes. Woohoo! We do it like this. For how long? For five minutes, maybe. While we're waiting, yes. maybe we can play a game. Oh, ooh, that one. Yes. That's right, I remember. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So this is a game, and you have to guess what's in those little bottles. Because every wine, there's something like, either it's uh, more like a cherry, more like a lemon, more like, uh, there's a lot of things that comes. And this is called le nez du vin, which means having the nose for wine. I propose... Uh, let's take number 24. So again, oh. I'm not going to cheat. Mm. It's not easy, but it's like honeysuckle, honey notes, some flower with honey notes. What honey. do you think? Okay, definitely honey. But it's honey. not honey in this... It's not honey, honey in the yeah, sense no. of like no. the, the pollen, the bee. Let's so, check. Let's check. Somebody played my game not too long ago. Oh, okay, so this is Crazy. the one. It Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Only the best Chardonnay actually has this soft, subtle note. It appears in combination with almond, mm -hmm. au pair, and honeyed touch. Honeyed. So honey. A little honey touch. We will write about honey touch and uh, about uh, uh, Flower, like it's it's okay, like flower. So that, now that we know this almond and pear, can you can you smell it? Mm -hmm. I, I definitely smell almond, but I'm not sure about pear. But I think you're dumpling already. We have a not crystal ball for this, but just clear ball. It's a clear ball, mm -hmm. so we can we can see them. Is it ready? I hope so. So you have what pork inside and beef, beef, beef and pork. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, we're gonna put it next to my sea scallop because we're gonna play more again. Let me pick something. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, this one. Okay, it's for me. Yeah, it's for you. 41. Nice color. Like cognac? No, just, just lighter. Oh, oh, it's strong. It's again like honey. Everything tastes like honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we use it in cooking. Cooking. We'll give you a cook. But it's not vanilla. No. No. No, it's not vanilla, definitely. It's but it's a good, it was a good guess. Mm -hmm. In sweets. Yes. Use it in baking. Baking. Cinnamon. Very good. <laughs> oh my gosh, she got it. It's she cinnamon, it. yeah. Cinnamon, number yeah. 41. Oh, cinnamon, yay. But What's the Tanya? I think it's very rare in wine. So, this one. The sweet spice note by excellence mostly turns up in wine made from very ripe Merlot grapes. Merlot. After several years in the bottle. So, oh, that's why it's sweet. It's sweet. 
It uh, also graces very old Saturn. Saturn. Pinot Gris. Mm-hmm. Gewürztraminer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gewürztraminer. Girls are minor. So that's uh, from Alsace. Alsace. We were in France. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Barsac Sauterne. Alsace. Uh-huh. Pinot Gris. So it's sweet wines. Barsac and Sauterne. It's sweeter. Sweet, sweeter. Oh, Sauterne is mm-hmm. sweet. Yeah. Sauterne is sweet. Sauterne, you, you usually have some Sauterne when you have some foie gras. I personally mm. don't care too much for sweet wine. Mm. Uh, it's not my favorite. No. The last one. One last one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lady knows, Tanya doesn't. Oh. Well, right. 52. It's clear, transparent, something. Mm. I don't know. What's this? It smells like, like nuts. Am I close to nuts? No? Yeah, you're close to big nuts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Lydie. <laughs> I'm not here with another nutty. Yeah, um, you have to you have to grind it in order to get that smell. Like pepper. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think you drink it every morning. Coffee. Yes. Oh, it's coffee. It's coffee. Number fifty-two. Mm. Coffee. Let's let's pretend I. And uh, the <laughs> coffee note makes a subtle appearance in very old port. Madeiras, of course. Oh, yeah. So it's and for the old vintage champagne. Mm. So mostly for fortified wines. Yes. And for champagne. Okay, mm. let's go okay, to so our dumplings. Uh, I suggest to put uh, butter, butter in this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we got a dumpling. We got the uh, my uh, cookies, Saint yes. Jacques. We have oh my and the salad uh, and uh, my homemade mayonnaise. Sure. <gasps> I know. Oh my Look god. At that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, I I'm love this. Yeah. Oh. It's Shrimp a crab leg. And a crab uh, crab leg. Claw. Claw. It's a claw. claw. Yes. Oh, it's your mayonnaise. Look at my mayonnaise. <gasps> it's more yellow than mine. It's more yellow, mine. <laughs> but it's also because I put three egg yolk in it. Okay. The next one. Be careful, this one might just, because there's, yeah. more, there's more alcohol in it, okay? So this one has a 12. 12. 12. 12 was okay. It's good. Ooh, yes. And it was the right sound. Yes. yes. It's supposed to pop. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Skull. Uh, skull and... Something. Something. Um, and in mm. Russian? Na <laughs> zdorovie. Stroganov. Stroganov. Oh, Stroganov. You know. Stroganov. Olivier. Babushka. Babushka. Oh, I like that. To babushka. Uh, to babushka. Mm. This one is good. It's very good. I know exactly what you're going to ask for your husband for your next Christmas. Come, follow me. This is what you want for Christmas. Oh my God. You know, that's from anything from Napa Valley <laughs> to It's a Sonora. candy shop, candy shop. This, we have Italian wine, we have French, we have Champagne, we have mm. Bordeaux, we have, oh my God, more. This is Champagne? This is, oh, let's see, it works really well. Aix-en-Provence, lots of Champagne. Oh. I mean, literally, this. Blue, lilies, pomerol. Oh, no. oh, my favorite one, but I will take you to Napa. When we go to Napa, I'll take you there. Okay. It's Shady Brook. Shady. This is the Platine Blanc from Shady Brook. That's Napa mm. Valley. Okay, now I'm ready to show you my little private collection. Okay. Pretty much everything is French here. It's not a great wine, but it's called Princess Lily. Many moons ago, back in 1964, when my parents were expecting their first child, you. Moi, um, they were hoping for a boy. So it was going to be Patrick or Stefan. And here we was a girl. And my mother never agreed on the name. And my dad used to drink, and still do, this vin de table. And he said, here's her name, Lily. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually named after, after this wine. Yes. And when I was baptized, this is the wine they served on my oh. baptism. So it has lots of good memories. And of course, because 
my show is breaking bread and I do want to break bread with everyone. So, you know, you have to keep an open mind, everyone. I do have a Trump Chardonnay. <laughs> From who? <laughs> From who? <laughs> From my new Russian friend, Tanya. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I'd love to break bread with him. Hmm. Why not? I put Trump and Princess Lydie next to each other. <laughs> I think it's cute. The collection here, lots of Chateau Neuf du Pape. There's lots of it it's here. It's your favorite appellation. Yeah, Chateau Neuf du Pape. Do you have your favorite wine? Badere. B-A-N-N-E-R-E-T. It's a beautiful, lovely family down to earth. They put their own label by hand. Mm. They put the cork by hand. Everything is by hand. So let's start. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Hey, I want to say thank you for coming and break bread with me. <laughs> and thank you for coming in Tony and Vine with me. <laughs> it's fun, fun, fun. So a little quick thing about Veuve Clico. Mrs. Clico uh, was from a very wealthy family. Uh, her parents were friends with Napoleon and Josephine, his wife. She married, she was 21 years old, to Mr. Clico from Champagne. And six years after the marriage, he died. Oh. And she became the heir to his company. And she decided to do the Veuve Clicquot, the widow. So there was a story that, okay, did he really die from, uh, did she kill him? Did he have uh, typhoid? Or did he kill himself? So to that day, no one knows how he died. So but she became extremely wealthy. She never remarried, but she uh, continued her husband's business to La Veuve Clico, like Grande Dame Champagne. I propose we start with the claw and the shrimp and my homemade mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yes. In France, for the uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, you have a very big seafood platter. It is so big that you and I would not be able to see each other right now. (laughs) So as you pick the oysters and and the crab and and the lobsters and different type of shrimp and snails, and uh, you eat this, then you you would have a cookie Saint-Jacques, you would have some foie gras, you would have some type of fish, then you would have a gamey venison or anything that you don't eat on a weekly basis, but you you have the meat and some type of uh, either beans or green beans or potatoes or and then you have cheese and the green salad because they said that the green salad helps you to digest then you're ready for dessert Mm -hmm. so something that you start like at seven o'clock and you eat until two o'clock in the morning two o'clock oh my god it's long long okay you see you open the bottles oh and i unclose for you yeah. Okay, thank you. In France, we use a lot oh, of uh, yeah, like this, like yes. a fork, like a fork. Yes. Mm, okay. So good. Just dip it. Just dip it. Yes. Really good. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. What do you think? It's fantastic. So should we try the dumpling first? No, I think we we salad. Yeah, we'll start with salad. Okay. Thank you. What do you think? Very good. Good? Excellent. I'm it's happy. Sausage is good too. But <laughs> you know that mayonnaise is really good too. It's different from yours, but... It's different. But it's not bad. Yeah. Go to next appetizer. Okay. Cookie Saint-Jacques. Mmm. That's good. Ooh. Oh. Yum, yum. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I love this. Mm. And I need the, need the champagne for this. Mm. Okay. Some Cheers. Santé. Skull. <laughs> Babushka. <laughs> nice you know, yeah, I'm gonna use that now. Mm. Babushka. Actually, Babushka is a grandmother. It's an old lady. And it's perfect for the vertically good shape. Yeah, say. Babushka. Babushka. Babushka that's it's perfect. I think with the dumplings, we should definitely. Oh, what's this? It's a Macon Village Chardonnay. Oh, no, I know French. this one. You know this one. Yeah, I know, and I course. like this one. I think it's one uh, of uh, the best uh, French wines you can find here in not very expensive segment. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. That's why I chose it. One third of the glass, I think. When I came to the state, I noticed that uh, people put the wine until here. Oh my God. Yes. Really? Yeah. I think in Russia, people often do the same Mm. because they don't know how it works. You you have to do like this, like 
this. Even so, my husband would be like that much. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one because it's with fresh, fresh notes mm -hmm. of some apple, some. And it's not sweet. Which no, it's not sweet, but it has apple and honey. It reminds me champagne, even champagne. True, true. Yeah. Because it's Chardonnay, it's one variety of champagne. It's perfect for the food, no? Yes. That's why I picked it. Yes, absolutely. Even with the dumplings, it would be very good too. I love, I love this one. You love it? Yeah. yeah. Really good. Okay, now I'm ready to try the dumplings. So, should I put a little bit of the sour cream? Yeah, it will be nice. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Really good. So you, you're ready to go to you Siberia. Know, I'm ready to go to Siberia. It was an awesome breaking bread. And, you know, breaking bread is about sharing meals and cooking together with different culture. And um, today I decided to... Tanya, my new Russian friend, because I've got quite a few now, uh, thanks, to, thanks to Rima. Everybody knows Rima on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but um, cheers and... Uh, Happy New Year, everyone! Hoo hoo! Bon année à tous! Bisous, bisous, bisous! From Russia with love, de la France à moi chez ma maison. Bon année à tous! Bye bye!